And from my analysis ribbon tab, I'm going to open up the static analysis sets dialog again. I'm going to select my analysis set two and duplicate it. Down at the bottom, there's a duplicate button. And I'm going to select my analysis set three and duplicate it. And I'm going to scroll all the way over to the right. And I'm going to use this remove liftoff support option for analysis set five and analysis set six, which remember are duplicates of two and three, but I'm gonna use the B313 analysis approach to have AutoPipe automatically remove liftoff supports. What it does is it runs through. If it sees there's liftoff at a support, it removes that support and reruns the analysis. So with this, I'll click okay. Yes, I want to analyze. This time I'm going to check on the option to suppress my analysis warnings. This just stops the pop-ups from popping up, but you'll still be able to review them at the end in a report format. And I'll click OK. So you see it runs through much quicker because I don't have all the pop-ups popping up. If I want to, I can always review these messages at the end. It's always a good idea to make sure there's nothing new, but I have my cut short messages and my V-stop liftoff messages. So I'll close this out, and we can now review our combinations that we'll use to review our results. So on the result ribbon tab, under the setup grouping, we can select combinations. The load cases tab shows us a review of the load cases we included in each analysis set. The code combinations tab lists the combinations that we'll use to review our code stress results. And remember that warning that kept popping up warned us that we cannot consider cut short results for code stress uh, results. So anytime we see the U1, which defines our cut short, we want to delete that combination from this tab. So sustain plus U1 here, I'm going to delete it. I don't even want to see it as an option because I'm not allowed, according to the code, to use these results. Sustain P2 plus U1, delete. Sustain P1 plus U1 for analysis set five, delete. And sustain P2 plus U1 for analysis set six, I'm gonna delete. So now there's no way that I can be uh, looking at the wrong results considering my cut short because I've completely deleted them from the code combinations that I'll use to review my code stress results. You'll also notice that there are some combinations highlighted in purple, which is listed as inconsistent. And this is just due to the nature of the AutoPipe nonlinear analysis engine in combination with the new B313 requirement for combinations to be created considering each pressure load case with each occasional load case, rather than a maximum pressure load case combination being acceptable, which used to be the norm. In this case, we can ignore this inconsistency warning as these are required combinations per the code. We can then come over to our non-code combinations tab. These are the combinations that we'll use to review the results other than our code stress results. And notice that there are combinations that are combined with the cut short, the U1 load case. And these are combined correctly because we set up our analysis sets correctly to consider our sustained case and different operating cases. These are the results that will represent our cold and hot conditions correctly that are considering the cut short. Again, these are automatically created because we created our default sets using the AutoPipe tool and our analysis sets were set up correctly. So we can use these to review our support forces and moments, our displacements, and our nozzle loads. So we can click OK here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.